Hey guys, doing a little vlogging today. Well, I've got a video editing right now, and uh, I was going to do it last night, but it just it got so late and I was so tired. So you'll see that later on today. Well, you have already seen it. I don't even know why I mentioned that. So anyway. I didn't go set up at the sale. It's about 9.30 right now. I got a guy coming to get the car, so uh, he asked me if I'd help him push it up on his dolly. Why not just start it up and drive it on the dolly? Oh, it runs? Yeah, it runs. He's just going to scrap it, so. Anyway, it's going to be gone here shortly, and I'll film that for you. So, I doubt if I'll go down at the sale. He's supposed to be here any time. He said between 9.30 or 10, so. Uh, but I'm just going to vlog all day today. Tomorrow I'll do some vlogging too. Tomorrow I got to go to Gainesville and go to the specialist. So I'll vlog a bunch of that. Maybe make a video. Depends on what we find on the way back. So hopefully it'll be a good day. So anyway, that's what we're doing now. So I'm trying to get this thing to charge up. I just put it on the battery was clear dead I I don't know if I left the interior light on or not but it's only been on about five minutes okay it'll go here in a minute so let me get that taken care of and I'll set you over here and I'll film loading that thing up and getting it gone so stay tuned more to come all right it's been about 15 minutes let's see if this thing will start Fired right up. <laughs> she fired right up, guys. let it run a couple minutes I'll be back with you when we load it up if the guy shows up he said between 9 30 and 10 it's about a quarter till nine now so we'll see here we go Assassinate? Ooh, I doubt it. 
Okay guys, they're driving it. <laughs> Thanks man! There goes. <laughs> they're gonna try to drive it to home with Sasa. gone so now next adventure it's too late to go set up to sell stuff um, so I don't know let's build something or make something or fix something let's fix something let's fix the garage door that's what we'll do okay guys this is the roller we have to replace a damn spider up there okay we got to put a roller in there that one's gone uh, it may have come out of there someone may have taken it out I don't know um, but it's the only one missing so we're going to put a roller in here uh, there's different ways a lot of guys will bend these tracks out I'm not going to do that there's only two screws holding this in so this is the one I'm going to take these screws out now this top one right here shit sorry let me turn the light on for you Okay, so this top one right here, it's adjustable. Now I can take it off. Let's see. see, there's a screw there. I could just take that one off if I marked it. I may do that and only have to take one, one bolt out. I can't get in there and see if there's a nut on the end of it. There should be a nut on the end of it. But it's kind of hard to get to. So what I'll probably do is just take that screw out and that screw out and put the the roller in so let me get you guys set up on a stand and then I'll try to brush some cobwebs get rid of that spider and I'll show you how to do that ha huh. I'll throw this clip in too okay guys here's our new roller you can see that one don't have one in it. I've already got a 
Oh shit. I've already got I used some silicone on that silicone on this. This is one of those um it's not steel, it's supposed to be quieter, but it's not gonna matter because the other ones are steel. But I've got it sprayed down. Now, if I can get up here without falling. Now when you go to tighten this back up, make sure you just, if damn it, if you're using one of these, don't tighten it too tight because you can strip them out. See, can you see that? It's got one of them bolts on it. One of them kind of bolts. Some guys call them stove bolts. Uh, I probably could have just marked that down there at the bottom, put a line across there, but I wasn't going to do that. So this, all we got to do, put this in there like that, take this from this end, and put it in. Now we're going to go back in the same holes that they came out of. And we're done. I was going to do this. Sorry about that. I was going to do this in its own video, but hell, you know, it would only be a, a three minute video. So, there we go. Got it locked in now. Now I'm just going to tighten this up. Just like that. Don't go. If you're afraid of stripping them, just use a little ratchet or a wrench and just go just till it, it's got some tension and you should be good. Wow. That door raises nice now. Okay, awesome. Alright. Now, let's see if we can do something else. I want to show you something on the outside here. Now this is what we got here. Now see, we don't have a key to that. But see this, this is all. How do you zoom in? See that? Now what I'm gonna try to do, it should be like that. What I'm gonna try to do is I got a piece of stainless steel in there and I'm gonna cut it, you know, just to put a patch there. Then I'm gonna drill a hole in it so this can go shit so this can go through and then I'll put a couple screws here so let me get everything I need for that and we'll try to get that fixed okay guys so I got the handle off of the other side already um, all I'm gonna do is is pull this out but I gotta get inside here and check something real quick Alright, now, I lost my horse, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to pull this out, and I'll show you how it hooks on. I didn't hit record, got these stupid cobwebs, okay? So there's that, and these holes here, I'll show you what they do. Um, let me get the other piece. Okay, so here's what we got. This goes in here like this, and then whichever hole you need you stick this little tiny pin it's not a roll pin but you can use a roll pin it just goes in there and you tap that down see it's got like splines on it that's what holds it tight inside there but it was in that hole there it was in the last hole so it's going to go in you don't want to lose that pin of course you could use a nail or something but you know it's going to go in there and it's going to get tapped down now there will be a washer on the inside now when we get ready to put this on I'll take you on the inside and I'll show you how this goes okay so on to the next step of putting our plate on here okay um, I'll show you the plate that I made Okay, this is the plate I made. I cut it out of a piece of stainless. This will peel off so it'll look okay. I'm going to put this on here and I'm just going to screw it in 
in the four corners and I'll put that uh, thing back through uh, the handle back through but what I'm going to do is so I know exactly where the hole is I'm going to draw it from the inside out okay I'll show you what we got on the inside it's going to come through here I'm going to draw it right straight through there and that's where that that square piece comes through comes through right through there like that then you turn it and when you turn it it pulls these these out and they latch in to that section there so let me get my drill and figure out a way to keep this from going up I'll probably put a pair of vice grips on it or something and ugh, stinky cobwebs and uh, then we'll we'll get well I'm gonna put this on first then I'll get a drill and we'll drill that out so let me get the tools that I need and then we'll go from there okay guys I've drilled four holes in the corner of this thing and I've got my I've got some self tappers here these are just starter holes like pilot holes got some self tappers here I'm not going to drill this so these are the best ones I got I should maybe go a little bigger but um, it is what it is right it's still going to be better than it was so let's get this on here and I want to go kind of about center of that hole all right now if this was more exposed we've got the overhang here the eaves that damn it that kind of protects this I would put some caulking on it but as you can see that big old hole there I've never had any issue with uh, water going in it so I'm not worried about if anything is this, this will help it okay I'm trying to do this here I may have to let me get this started first all right, so I got this one started. Like I said, I'm gonna go about, you know what I mean, middle here. You can see that. So, and I've measured this. Like I said, I, I saved you, you, you know, from listening to the grinder. All I did was cut it three inches wide, six inches long. I may have to drill a pilot hole in this, I'm not sure. I really don't want to. I can get it started with one of these first. There it goes. All right. Now, let's go ahead and back this one out. Well, don't want to back out. That's fine. We'll screw it in right where it is. And I didn't quite get over where I wanted to get over to. All right, we're just going to move it over a little bit, about right there. There we go. Now I'm going to do that. I dropped one screw. I don't know where it, where it went. I seen it a second ago. There goes another one, but they're so long. Oh, that screwed in tighter than I thought they would. Alright, where's the other one? I did put a pair of vice grips to hold the door up where it is right now. Let me find my screw. Alright, now let's go in and drill from the inside out here. As you can see, that bothered me. I straightened it back up, so it's pretty good now. now we got to put this on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in there just like that and I'm going to put maybe yes I'm going to put these screws in to that
All right, so there's one. Make sure I get this in here straight. I know these are the wrong screws and stuff, but like I said, it's just a patch because I want to I want to eventually put a whole new panel in this, maybe a whole new door because she's wanting, she calls it a lift, I call it a garage door opener but okay, so there's that now Try to get this screwed in. Now I may put one on each side of this. I don't know. We'll just have to see how it opens. All right. Now we're going to put this in. Let's go inside here. And let's go ahead and put the other pieces back on it. Okay. Now, there's supposed to be a washer on here, but my dumb ass went and lost it. But this is the way it's going to go. I'll have to find it and I'll put a new one on it. Or if I can't find it, I'll put a new one on it. So it's going to go like that. Now, we got to get our handle. And we're going to put our handle on. And we're going to stick our little pin down in the hole. Get her lined up. Oh, I got sweat in my eyes. Sorry. Get it lined up. I guess it wasn't lined up. It's lined up for the second one, but see how it's how it's kind of. I don't want that. I want it in that back hole. Okay, it goes through there good. All right. Now, what the hell was that? See, I'm only seeing two holes there. So. Try to get that in there. I can't get it lined up. I will, but it's just one of those things that you got to play with. I can't look down at the top. Be nice if I had somebody out there holding holding this for me. You guys want to go do that? One of you guys? All right. Let's try this again. I'm not. I'm not going to cut this out because I'm going to show you. It can be a pain in the ass just to. Oh, just stick that little. Just stick that little pin in there. Come on, it's easy. Yeah, see, it'll go in that one, but then that's just way too much play. So. Ugh. Spider webs. I may have to uh, put you guys on fast forward here because this is pretty freaking boring. Oh great, drop the pin. Hang on, I'll be back. Okay guys, I couldn't find the pin. So, I've got a compromise. You can buy that stuff. And, I'm gonna use me a nail for now. 
probably won't lose this nail because I got like eight million of them, you know. So. And let me get a light so I can shine up through the bottom so I'll know if that hole is lined up or not. It's lined up perfect. I don't know why it's not going in. And I can see down through there that it is lined up. So I'm going to keep messing with this. I'll turn you back on as soon as I get it. Found the washer, guys. So we're going to put the washer on there. Make sure that's pulled clear back. Get this put back on here. Now I'm going to try to take this longer nail and I'm going to try to shove it up through the bottom and line it up. That way since it's got a point on it, it might line up a lot easier. I don't know. We'll have to see. It doesn't feel like it. Alright, let me keep messing with this guys. I don't want to bore you. Okay, change the plans. I stuck this one down in the bottom to line it up and it went started going up through so I'm going to go ahead and stick this up in here and I'm going to cut this off right there with my cutoff wheel which I'm going to go get right now. There it is. This is how this works when you, when you turn these like this see watch it pulls that out see it acts like a little winch and it pulls both sides out and that's how that's how they open so that took a little longer than it should have I peened that nail head over a little bit so that shouldn't fall out all right so there's another project um, let's see what else we can do today uh, if not I'll end the vlog here but uh, it was just a pain in the ass getting that, you know. It seemed like once I put the washer in, it was easier. But it was lined up. I just, maybe there was something wrong with the nail I was trying to put in. But as soon as I put that nail up through the bottom, it worked. So, I don't know where the pin is, but that nail is going to work fine. <laughs> I know it's not the right way to do this shit, guys. But, come on. You know, uh, eventually we're probably going to put a whole new garage door in it. So, which we was going to buy one one time, but the woman already had it sold, so. Um, but anyway, yeah, that panel needs to be replaced. It's kind of dinged up. I'd like to replace a couple panels, if not the whole door, eventually. So, but, you know, that's better than that thing flopping around. Because before, I locked my, myself out of the house a couple times, and you could wiggle that. And it would actually pull those, those cables enough to where it would, it would release the door and go up. It ain't going to do that now. So there you guys go. There's, there's that project. Let's see what else we can get into. And yes, for those of you wondering, I did clean the protective coating off of that. So, and I did put a couple more. I put four more screws in it. Um, like I said, it's just a temporary fix. It's not permanent by any means because as wallowed out as that was, what happens is you know, there's nothing there to hold the screws. You know, so the only way to do it would be put bolts all the way through, but the thing about it is when they get loose they start ripping that that's just aluminum and the only real actual way to fix that would be put a whole new panel in it so I mean the garage door is not that bad a shape uh, other than that there is a ding here but that's in that same panel so I can probably just get one more panel input in it and uh, maybe have to adjust the door a little bit more there. there's kind of a more of a gap across there than over there but that's no big deal just a little bit of adjustment but um, see this right here see how that gets ripped that's because if you notice where it's at that's because that it, it didn't have the uh, that uh, shoot that roller in it so that's why it ripped right there but 
that'll all be replaced when I put a new door, if I put a new door in. I may just put a new panel in it and put an opener in it. Because that's the only panel that's bad. I mean, yeah, it needs it needs washed off and repainted, but that's the only reason why that panel's bad. So I may just change one panel in it and then paint it all. And, uh, and then put the... Uh, when I do that, I'll bring you guys along with me. Uh oh, my car's getting full. I'll bring you guys along with me when I put in the, uh, as she calls it, a lift. I call it a garage door opener, but uh, I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, all right. Let's think of something else to do. I forgot to tell you. Yeah, I did peel that off, and I didn't show it, but it's off, so. <laughs> okay, guys, it's a little early in the afternoon. It's only like uh, 2.38, but Monkey's off a little early today, so she's coming She's going to be on her way home here shortly. She's going to stop by the store. So I'm going to call this vlog right here. Uh, I think I said tomorrow I've got a, a doctor's appointment, but it's not. I think it's it's Wednesday, so uh, so that'll be cool. Um, well, not really cool, but we got to make a long road trip, but I'll film some of that for you guys, and then uh, Thursday I have another appointment, so, see, I won't be able to do the sale, but I'll do a sale Friday, so, but, um, Wednesday and Thursday I'll have, I'll have some vlogs for you, um, on my off days that I'm not doing like a how-to video or something like that, I'll go ahead and do a vlog, and I'm going to try to get, uh, try to get, you know, do at least a video a day video or two a day for you guys to watch so uh that being said i appreciate you guys watching and uh um stay tuned i've got a special shout out video i'm going to be doing too for a couple of my subscribers uh you're all great appreciate it awesome so that being said i'm gonna say shea bear the myth the man legend i'm gone for now thanks again for watching guys appreciate it and y'all stay cool and we'll chat soon all right, bye-bye and take care, guys.